We were best friends. We liked doing the same things. Either that or I planned it and he just came along. <laughs> Met Dick on a blind date. We danced all night. Kissed me goodnight. We bickered a lot. It's that married, loving kind of bicker. He quit school in grade 10, went to Barber College in Windsor. So he worked downtown for 10 years and then went out to Cedar Springs Hospital. He barbered there for 16 years. Dick never really retired. He did a lot of volunteer work and he drove for chaps. And he noticed that his one leg was going numb and he couldn't feel the pedal. He had a slight little accident, so he couldn't drive anymore. That's when we found out from an ultrasound that he had 30% circulation in his legs. He had a five-hour surgery and was great for nine weeks, had no more pain in his legs, more energy, more blood flow, of course. Then he had a small heart attack. He was home in four days. When he had the stroke, he went into the hospital, and that was the last time he was home. It came back that he had multiple cancer cells and cancer spots in both lungs. So we knew he was not going to be coming home. If he wasn't going to get in the hospice soon, we were going to take him home. But as luck has it, he got into the hospice December the 4th. And he was a happy camper. He had heard about it from friends, and um, he wanted to be there. I've been supporting the hospice before Dick even got in here, because it's the best thing that ever happened to Chatham. Even though it's just 10 beds, there's no words that can describe how comfortable everybody makes you feel here. There's, there's nothing you ask for that they won't get you or try and get you. Not just for Dick, but we got the care too. You're all one big family. It was like we were the only people here. The, the hospice is not a luxury. It is a necessity. For people to die with dignity and with caring people, it's just worth it to donate. Uh, Sean Tiffin was one of his kids that he coached in Bantam All-Stars. And he wrote a comment under Dick's obituary. And he says, it was because of Coach Dick that he made me the man I am today. And that's Dick's legacy. My holiday in Scotland, it, it was cloudy and rained on and off, except for the last day when we went to scatter his ashes. The sun was out all day, it was warm and everything. And all of a sudden, the three of us, Maureen and Shirley and I, we looked up and we go, thanks, Dickie. 